Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Samaros 3. I decided to redo my walkthrough uh, with all the achievements. So I'm going to get as much as I can uh, in this video, and if there's any left over, I'll come back at the end of the game. But this video will take you through the first planet. Uh, so I'm going to let you watch the beginning, and then I'll explain some of the, some of the mechanics. <laughs> Okay, so the game just showed you you can use your flute um, to hear and to play. Also, you can zoom in and out or swipe left and right to pan out. Uh, so if you check zoom in and out, that lets you, and then swipe and left and right. So now, uh, if you come over here, it's going to show you when you see sound waves, you can use your flute to listen. And if there's something to play back, he'll play it back automatically. Now, uh, there's the first achievement here is Blossoms. And if you just tap on the Blossoms now, you should get it. So throughout the game, there's a bunch, there's 30 achievements. A few you'll get automatically as part of the game, but most of them you'll have to do extra work to get them. So let's first. This is optional, but let's go inside your little home, your observatory. Uh, come to the second floor and grab this book. Let's look through it. It tells the story of a giant squid attacking, eating a planet, uh, and people fighting back by building a giant robot. And the giant robot slays the monster, turns into some planets, parts of it turns into planets. Then they fly off on the machine. Looks like they left the robot to die because they needed its energy. And then it brings you back to this planet. Okay, so you can see you can dream about flying in a spaceship. You go to bed. And if you come up here, there's a telescope, and you can look through it. Just tap on the telescope, and then you can see uh, there's the planet. So we're going to be visiting a few different planets. To get out of the telescope, tap on it again. You can't just tap outside of it. And you can flip this lever switch to... Uh, see four other to see three other views there's four in total so here's another planet so we're going to be visiting all together four planets and one orbiting thing uh okay come on trying to get out of it it's a little finicky those over there uh you can look at those four yourself um i'm going to show you also an easy to miss mechanic is which kept me confused in the beginning is that if you go to the edge of the screen 
then tap the very edge, you can often get a little arrow that shows you can keep going to the next screen. So here uh, we have a bridge, and here are the controls. So if you lower the con the bridge all the way like this, you can see it doesn't go far enough to let you cross. So what we're gonna do is uh, raise it up a little bit higher, get it back all the way to the beginning, and now you want to swing it all the way to the right. So we're going to use the pole as the bridge. Go back up and down and this should do it. So now the pole gets turned into a bridge. Uh, but before we go over there, to the before we cross it, there's another achievement here called Rock Heads. So you see there's these little rocks that uh, you can tap and now there's these faces in the background. You can see them. So that gives you the rock head achievement. Now let's go all the way to the right. Okay, so there's this guy. your flute over here. Okay, so these mushroom spirits appeared, and then there's a little hint to tell you what to do with them. So you want to drag each of their heads upward to turn them into mushroom-looking things. Now they'll sing and dance, and after they disappear, which will be soon, Okay, so the mush mushroom spirits disappeared, and now mushrooms grow. And this guy is gonna come around to pick them all. Let him pick them. It's gonna give you another achievement in a minute. Okay, so now, before we go talk to him, uh, I want to get the Mushrooms achievement, which if you listen, if you play the Mushroom tune three times, so we did it once, this is going to be the second, after the third you'll get an achievement. Mushroom spirits. Oh, I forgot one. Okay, so one last time. Let's wait for that to grow. Now one last time. <laughs> And 
there you get the mushroom achievement. Okay. Let's go over here. And by the way, the achievements, you could tap on them and then get the music. Okay. So, let's go to this guy. And talk to him. So you want a knife. You want to borrow his knife. So, he tells you to play his game and turn that card green for him and then he'll give you the knife. So this is a really cool puzzle. So far it's it's my favorite one still. So uh, what you need to do is you have these hunters and fishermen and then you have a bunch of animals. So there's three animals, a mushroom, uh, and there's some water, three fire, and then there's the tent of pe with people. So we're going to start with the easiest, the pig. The pig is very easy. You just hunt him with a bow and arrow. He'll go down fast. Place the fire next to him. And now he's a cooked pig. Remove the fire and place the tent next to the pig. So now they eat the pig, dance, they're happy. This couple's going to eat a lot of food. They're eating four animals. Okay. Now... The... Mammoth is the next one, so you're going to hunt him, but look, he's too fast, so what you need to do is put the water there for him to fall in. There's some fun things you could do if you don't go straight to it. Uh, the mammoth can drink from the water. You could still play around with these things later after the game's cleared, but I'm just showing you how to actually get through it. Okay, let them eat mammoth, really hungry people. Okay, so now, the fishermen. So how are you going to get bait? Uh, you need to first use a fisherman, he's going to grab this mushroom. And then he's going to burn the mushroom to get a worm. Worm comes out of the mushroom. That, now he has bait. Okay. So now he can fish. Again, it's fun to just play around. Uh, only use this if you're stuck. I messed around with the, with these things a lot before I got all the uh, solutions, and it was just fun to see what can happen. And now they're happy. Yuppie. They ate three animals already, these two people. Okay, last one is the trickiest. So, I'm going to show you just for fun what happens if... So, let's say you put this in front of it. The moose or deer or whatever, it's fast, it gets away. Look what happens if you put fire. Basically jumps over everything as long as there's, uh, as long as the hunter's there, he's just running over everything, jumping, jumping, jumping. So he's too fast. So what you're gonna do is get rid of the hunter for now, and you're just gonna give him a mushroom. So the mushroom's gonna make him sluggish. He's high, he's, I don't know what, what kind of mushroom that was. Maybe it was a poisonous mushroom, but then I don't know why they'd want to eat it. So, now, he's easy to kill. Oh, poor guy. Cook him up. And, yay, they have four animals, these, this hungry couple. They're so happy. They're so happy that they just had a child after eating four animals. That's how babies are made. Alright, now you have the card. And he gives you the knife. Alright, yay! Let's go. Let's go back. And 
and keep going. Alright, so we haven't gone left yet, so let's head left. So if you come over here, this isn't absolutely necessary, but you know, it's part of the game. Uh, you can listen to this mushroom thingy, whatever it is, uh, and it'll tell you that it can be turned into a spaceship for you. Now, what's easy to miss again is it looks like it's the end of the road. You can also play with these things. It looks like it's the end of the road, but there's actually a path that goes down here to the next screen. So, yeah, the first time I played, I missed that. So, you go down here. Now, there's a little arrow. And before we go anywhere, to, let's uh, climb up here. We're going to get another achievement, the chamois achievement where we're gonna ride the mountain goat. Come on. Nope. Okay. Come on. Alright. Jump in here. And now when he gets on the ledge in front of you, you're gonna jump on him. You'll have a couple of seconds. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Yay, so we got another achievement. That's the chamois. Alright, let's hop back down. And talk to this old man. It's a little bit annoying tapping each. Okay. Go talk to this guy. He looks like he can help us. Uh. He's gonna tell you that he can build you a spaceship, but he needs four items first. So those are the items, and if you come here and talk to or listen to this bottle, it gives you a weird animation that even though you don't necessarily need it, it I mean it's a clue, but it's a funny clue, because this bottle is going to tell you, is what it tells you, the bottle spirit wants you to cut it open, what a weird bottle, it's actually telling you to cut him in half, okay. We'll listen to the ball spirit. Help him commit suicide or something. Alright, so use the knife with the bottle. And he'll automatically take it to the scientist. And now he tells you you need three more items. So the controls we know, those are easy. Let's go back to the controls. They're broken anyways. I mean, there's no bridge anymore for them to control. So you do have to go all the way back manually. Um, but once you fetch an item, it, he will go directly there. You don't have to... Sorry about the traffic noises out there. In 
Okay, so grab the controls. And now we just need two more items. Okay, so you just need a chair and the bottom of the ship. So you actually have those two items in your home, in the observatory. Just a little more of this backtracking to deal with. You do need to have a little patience for this game, so because of, uh, there's no quick. Uh, transition between screens. Okay, so the chair. It's gonna be the chair and the tub, so first this chair or stool and then we'll go back for the tub. Okay, go inside, grab the tub. Strong little gnome. He's gonna carry that tub all the by himself, all the way to the scientist. Okay, so the spaceship's ready. It's going into that thing. So now, if you tap up here... Oh wait, first we're gonna have to take the knife back. You get another achievement uh, for returning the knife. There you go. We were just borrowing it. We weren't stealing it from him. Okay, so now tap up. Little arrow. And now you can uh, jump onto that weird uh, comet orbiting the second planet. And I'm going to stop this video here. I'll be back uh, in the next video to show you how to deal with uh, this thing and the second planet. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.